Mm-hmm. Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. It's part of our series that happens here every Tuesday on our YouTube channel and it also goes on to podcasts every Friday, including iTunes, Podomatic, Stitcher and Scatter Radio. So I hope you're following those there. This week it is, do you eat fish? Now, no, um, as a vegan, I choose not to consume any animals, including fishes or sea creatures, because I don't believe in killing, harming, or abusing any animals. I believe we're here to look after these animals, and we definitely don't need to be consuming any animals or their byproducts. Fishes always seem to be the last option for would-be vegetarians as it seems the least objectionable and I also think it helps that the flesh is, is not as red as other animals flashes. Um, fishing is just as barbaric and if not more so than other methods of killing animals. Fish are hauled up from quite a depth. Um, this change in pressure can cause their gills to collapse and their eyes to pop out. And as soon as they're removed from water, they begin to suffocate. Um, their lips are really sensitive, just as ours are. And they are in a great deal of pain when they're hooked out of the water. Fish may have less complex brains than ours, but they still have the ability to feel and to react to pain. Farmed fish are kept in areas very similar to other intensive animal operations. They're crowded together in space just enough for them, they can't move very far. They're fed pellets for unnatural weight gain and they're under very stressful conditions. The, you know, there's so many toxic metals that are actually in fish and so many carcinogens that are found in the flesh of fish and more so the bigger the fish is because keep in mind um, the little fish gets eaten by the bigger fish and keeps getting eaten so all those um, toxic chemicals or the carcinogens in the first one will become more and more amplified as the fish gets bigger. And so if you're eating a really big fish, the um, chances of you having more of these toxic chemicals is, very, is much higher than a smaller fish. Omega-3 fatty acids seem to be a big thing that a lot of people say we need to be consuming fish for. And you can get these with flax seeds, so you really don't need to be consuming fish or fish oils. Fishing and fish farming is literally trawling up everything in its path. It destroys coral reefs, aquatic animals, and it destroys aquatic ecosystems. It's really, really not sustainable. There's a hell of a lot more information on a couple of websites, including the North American Vegetarian Society website and the Vegetarian Network um, Victoria website. I suggest you check those out for some really great information. Overall, fishing is bad for our environment, eating fish is toxic for our health, and killing fishes is just as harmful to them as it is to any other animal that we kill. So, go vegan. That's the best way to not harm any animals on this universe and try and, prom and to try to promote peace and compassion to all beings. Thank you for joining us this week. Make sure you see vivalavegan.net for more information on this and many other things. And I hope to see you next week for our next video, which will be... What do you think of naked and stunt-like activism? I'll see you then.